Hi, this is Jana. I'm with Alderwood Mall Ranch. And today I'm gonna show you my goats. Say hello. This is Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. And this is Luna. I'm gonna show you our setup that we have in our backyard in Washington State. So, well, right now I'm sitting on our goat playground. Um, which is just two stumps with a board across. It's very simple, but it's a nice place to sit and they kind of like to jump around and they have eaten the bark off of it. Uh, we got these for free when the city was cutting down some trees by the library. Um, the goats are being very cute. And they're both bottle babies from Left Foot Farm. Um, so they're very sweet. Um, and very cuddly and like lots of attention. And we also have collars for them so we know what their names are. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. She's a good girl. Um, so it's a pretty big area that we have back here. It's a 7,000 square foot lot for the house. Um, and we've dedicated about half of the backyard to the goats. Um, we've used these two inch by four inch cattle panels. That's London, my dog. Hello. Hi, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Um, and then we have, uh, some of these are just five foot. Some of these are a little taller tea posts. Um, they go down about a foot into the ground. Um, as the goats get a little older, we'll probably um, add some more reinforcements. Um, they're still about half size. They're Nigerian dwarf goats. Um, and so as they start to lean up against the fence more, we'll probably add a little bit more reinforcement along there. Um, and so I think we used about seven 16 foot long panels. Um, and then rather than trying to use these, um, these things here, we just used a bunch of giant zip ties and then snipped them off. Um, and then we have about three or four per um, thing there. Uh oh, I'm gonna get on my back. Hi. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Hi, please don't eat my hair. Please don't eat my hair. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit of a break here. And we have this old dog house. We used to use for London, and now it is kind of just part of the playground for the goats. They like to sit up there and sun during the day, and whenever it's raining, they like to go inside there. Um, this is just a hangout place, though. This isn't their main house, but they like it a lot, especially now that well, now they're small. Um, this is their barn that they sleep in at night, and where their food is. Um, this is just an arrow storage shed. Uh, when we got this, we got the goats in July 2021 and wood has been really expensive so my husband is handy with um, building things but we got a metal shed for about 300 bucks because that was cheaper than getting the materials to make it from wood. i back out a little bit. Um, this is a Ikea lack table I got for five bucks at Goodwill just to give them a place to um, be off the ground if they want to sleep there. Um, and uh, we originally had it just on the, the concrete. There's a concrete slab over here. Um, but water was getting underneath and their hay was getting all, their, their bedding was wet. Uh, this is pine shavings and then just the hay that they've spilled. Anytime I lean down, I get a goat jumping on top of me. It's pretty great. I'm so cuddly. Hello. Hi, Bella. Um, so then we decided that we needed to do some kind of raised thing. I am not going to be very effective at this video because I've got a goat that's so cuddly. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, you're going to try to nibble the camera. So we found some, um, let's see, sub flooring somebody was getting rid of on Buy Nothing. Um, that was, I'll show you, I have a piece over there too, and I'll show you afterwards what it looks like. 
Um, so my husband removed um, because, as you probably know, particle board is really or the this is really expensive right now, and so he removed all the laminate and nails, and then we basically just put this up on top of some bricks throughout and cut it to size. The the whole shed is raised up onto uh, this platform here. Um, this way it weighs it down a little bit better. And then, ow! <laughs> oh, come on! Hello! Oh, Luna! Luna, you gotta get off! Off! I'm just gonna stand. Okay. Um, and this is um, nailed down, is how it's mounted is to this wood here to keep it heavy. Um, and then this also is how we mounted the, um, this hay feeder is mounted down into here because we can't really mount it to the metal itself. I got this hay feeder from a feed store. It's for sheep and goats. Um, let's see, it is rug Rugged Ranch is the name of it. Hello. Y'all having fun? Hello. Hello. Okay, down. Um, however, these these on the front were okay. And they're big enough to where their head could go in and back out. But the ones on the side um, were too small. And so a couple times Bella got her head stuck in. So our fancy version thing we did was... Um, just put some more zip ties. Zip, zip ties that, man. Everybody loves zip ties. Luna. Hello. Hello, Luna. I guess I should just do a video of just the goats. Because they just want to say hi. Hi, Luna. Um, so that's been pretty effective. And they do pull out quite a bit of hay, as you can tell. And then once on the ground, they don't like it. If you have any no-spill hay solutions, please let me know. I am definitely down for that. Um, and the way we tied in the fence to the, the shed, um, another zip tie solution is basically just cutting some holes and then putting a little block of wood, zip tying it around to the T-post with some more wood on the other side. My husband figured that out, Daniel, so he's pretty clever on that. And then the fence is really simple. Um, it's just another zip tie to this little clasp that goes into the hooks right there. Um, so it's pretty effective. And they haven't been able to escape yet, so that's pretty good. And then we have these old hinges um, with these two by twos um, zip tied to the T-post and then to this panel. It's the same as this, it's just been cut out. And then we have it reinforced with this support here, which is just screwed down there. So there's two hinges and everything's connected with zip ties. Everybody loves a good zip tie. Yeah. Um, so that's the fence. Um, let's see. They also have this little tarped off area. Gives them a little bit more room to play um, whenever it is raining or if they need some shade. Um, sometimes we'll put treats in these chairs. They're just from Fred Meyer, but they actually kind of work as hay feeders because they can kind of jump on it and get through there. Um, as you can tell, we have chickens in the same area. Um, however, it's really important to make sure the goats can't get into the chicken area because they want to eat the chicken feed. I've got another video about my chicken setup. So sometimes I'll let the chickens out once they're done laying eggs so they can just enjoy this area, but they're always separate at night um, because these goats are not allowed in there. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, let me show you their water and minerals. So they just have this for their water and this for their minerals. 
and they're not getting any green right now. They will once I milk them, one of them. Um, so they're both dolings. Um, and I'm planning on next year, once they're fully grown, I'll breed one of them um, to make milk and cheese. Um, but you always need two or more because they need friends. Um, yeah. So I'll show you where I keep their hay. Um, yeah, and let me know if you have any questions, if you want to see something or if you want a video of just the goats jumping and playing. Are you making sounds? I will give them hay about twice a day, is what they need right now. And then they also get some blackberries from the neighborhood to just kind of nibble on the leaves. They're not big enough to actually be able to chomp down on this part yet, but they like the leaves as a little snack. Okay, so let's see if I can actually open the gate without them escaping while holding a phone. I might just need to pause this. Okay, I have successfully escaped. Um, whenever I'm on the outside, it's a little easier for me to close the gate a little tighter. What's going on? Do you want out? I know, all you want to do is escape. That's all you want to do. Um, so you can kind of see the frame around the base of their shed. Right here. It's a pretty good setup. Um, and they they were really loud when we first got them. But as you can see, we're just in a normal backyard. But we're allowed to have two goats. Um, sometimes we'll let the goats outside in the backyard. Um, but we watch them closely because we do have rhododendrons. Um, so we have to be very, very, very careful to make sure they don't nibble on any of that. Because that's highly poisonous to them. Um, but they don't really show any interest in it. They're pretty smart. Um, I put the leftover hay and goat shavings in here is my very um, basic compost pile that I have. Um, you know, I've got neighbors and there's apartments around, so I don't have any fruit or anything like that. I only use the chicken poop shavings and the goat um, stuff on the bottom um, as um, what I put in here. And then I'll probably, it's pretty full up, so I'll probably leave this for a few more months and then maybe compost once it's a little more ready to go. As you can see, Luna's jumping up onto her chair. She might jump over to her doghouse from here. There you go. Once they get bigger, I'll probably need to move this a little further away from the fence so they don't, can't jump out. Yeah. What do you think, Bella? I should be can tell, but Luna has a most beautiful marking on her side. Oh, I can't quite see it. I'll try and catch it again, but she's like a, a crescent moon on her right side. Hey, Luna. Hi, Luna. Luna, hi. You're so pretty. Little, little white tails. They're so cute. Yeah. Um, so, I've got a fair amount of space. Hasn't really been, space hasn't been a big issue yet, just since there's two and they're small. Um, Luna, can you show your other side so we can show off your pretty, pretty crescent moon? Look at that. Look at a crescent moon. It's so nice. London doesn't really bother them or chase them anymore. She's a sweet lab. So if they're out, they just kind of ignore each other. So we have this shed that was already in the backyard. And then it's pretty simple. I kind of spill a lot of hay, but it already had this shelf up here where I keep the hay. And then I keep the pine shavings and there's some loose pine shavings. And then I've got the chicken feed in this blue tub um, and then the goat minerals isn't an issue so they're just kind of over here but eventually I'll make sure I whenever I'm doing grains for the goats I'll keep it very um, separate so they can't get into it but I didn't really go into the shed so it's not really been a big issue so far but this keeps it nice and dry off the floor the hay and I think this is a Timothy mix which they seem to like okay I get um, my hay from the Everett Co-op uh, north of here. Yeah. So those are my goaties. Um, 
they're kind of complaining right now, but it's okay. You're cuties. Um, yeah, so um, let me know if you have questions about materials used. I'll try to link some of it when I have time. Um, and um, also if you have any good no spill hay feed, hay solutions, I'm definitely interested in that, uh, especially something that's safer for dwarf goats that are nice and little so they don't get their head stuck. So um, hope you have a great day. Bye.